We are back with another banger video, boys. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five mistakes to avoid in every single seat. I'm not going to lie. When I first started playing Blocks Roots, I've done a lot of these mistakes on this list. And even if you're a pro watching this video, I'm pretty sure you've made mistakes like these without a doubt. So let's kick off the list with our first mistake everyone should avoid. And that is using the incorrect fruit to grind. As you guys may already know, there is a bunch of fruits already in this game. There's about 35 fruits. If we go from this list, all all the way to the bottom that's a lot of fruits but if you're grinding from level zero or level one all the way to max level you should be only using one fruit you can use actually a couple others but the best fruit for grinding will always be buddha if you are somehow super rich and you could just permanently buy the fruit, I would recommend doing that straight off rip. And if you can't afford to buy permanent Buddha, that's completely fine. You still have a low chance of getting it for free from the Blocks Fruit Gotcha. If we go ahead and go to the jungle over here from the first C, you could go ahead and talk to this guy. I think once you hit level 50, you can roll your first fruit. But let's go ahead and roll a fruit. We have a chance of getting something good, and I actually got the worst fruit in the game, known as Spring Fruit. But from here on out, guys, make sure to go ahead and put every fruit you get in your inventory. Just do it. Believe me, you'll thank me later in the future. The second mistake to avoid is only using one or two items to grind with. If you guys did not know all the secrets about block fruits, I made so many different videos on those. Go ahead and check those out. But there are currently three fighting styles you could get in the first C. You should at least use every single fighting style and get it to somewhat of a high mastery. I'd say about mastery 300 to 400 is fine. But make sure to collect all the fighting styles. The first fighting style is actually hidden at Pirate Village. So if we go ahead and go over here, here. You can go between these buildings. You're probably going to arrive on a boat over there, and then you're going to come to the left. There's going to be a door in this wall, and there's the Dark Step Teacher. That's the first fighting style you can buy. The second fighting style is actually going to be over at the Sky Island. If we go ahead and teleport over here, we actually don't want to be up at the top of Sky Islands. We want to go where you drive the boat. So you land right here on the island, and you actually want to go behind these clouds, straight to the back. But behind this rock is a secret hidden fighting style. Or actually, maybe it's this rock over here. Right here, there's a fighting style known as electric you want to go ahead and level this one up for the second fighting style but last and not least for the third fighting style you want to go to the underwater city which is water kung fu back here you want to definitely get this one for the third it's actually right here and here's the water kung fu teacher make sure to grind with buddha fruit switching off in between fighting styles to mastery them up you're gonna need that later on as you progress through the game i'll tell you now i only used one fighting style or one sword to progress through this game and it was pretty bad i used actually a fruit i used the light fruit which is not the worst fruit to grind with but it's definitely not as good as buddha but speaking of grinding for this third one this is super important and i was a victim of this big mistake at least up until level 50 if you go ahead and take a look at the left side of our screen here we have this twitter bird icon if we go ahead and click it you could go ahead and input codes here each code will give you about 20 minutes of double xp and if you don't know any of the codes that's fine here they are all on screen some of these may not work but i'm pretty sure about 95 percent of these will work there's a whole list to go through but don't forget to put it in every 20 minutes or you could just stack them all for hours and hours and hours but that brings us to our fourth point while you're grinding there is a big problem that you may have done if you go click this menu button right here and you click your stats as you level up you put your points into certain stats right you only actually want to put them into three points you always want to put some points into melee and defense first those are the two you need to survive while fighting npcs and for the third one you could either put it into a sword or blocks fruit depending on what you're using to grind if you're using buddha i'd recommend to just leave it in sword because when you're using buddha you're not actually going to be using the fruit itself you're just using its range boost and its defense boost oh. i know it sounds tricky but just believe me if you're new to the game otherwise all the pros know what i'm talking about so number five for the first c this is the last but the most important if you're still in the first c make sure to get every single secret quest item and boosts that you can get here so for example if we go ahead and head to the marine fortress and we take a look at all these towers here that tower to the left over there actually has something you would need as a beginner it's a really good accessory for a really early start in the game you're just gonna go ahead and go up this tower go in this little hole down here there should be an npc where you could buy a little cape from him if you go ahead and talk to him he will tell you it's about fifty thousand, which isn't that much and of course i already own the item there is so many secrets and hidden scattered around the map but i'll just show you just a few more for example if you go back to jungle right under jungle there's a whole puzzle 
quest that unlocks this area. And you could fight the Saber Expert in which he drops the best sword that you can get in the first C. And it actually does a good amount of damage halfway through the second C. So it's a really good sword I'd recommend doing. It's called the Jungle Puzzle Quest. I have also done a separate video on getting the Saber Sword. So go ahead and check that video out if you haven't. The last secret area is probably the most important secret area. It's actually over at the snow area. And if you use Portal, you actually spawn right inside of it. But if you don't, you might have missed it. You pull up on a boat right there, as you guys can see. And to the right of the island, there's this tunnel. Inside this tunnel, you can talk to the ability expert who's going to teach you air jump, aura, and flash step. Those are things you must have before even thinking about leaving the first C. I can go on for hours, but I don't think anyone wants to watch me talk about the first C for hours. So let's go ahead and go to the second C and tell you what I know over there. So here we are in the second C. And you're probably wondering, why am I standing in the middle of the ocean in the second C? Well, the reason why I'm here is because the first important thing you should not do as a mistake is ignore sea beasts. So once you get to the second C, you have a random chance of spawning in sea beasts while you're driving around in the water. It's a pretty low chance of spawning in a sea beast, but I'd be pretty lucky if one showed up right now. Just make sure you clap its cheeks if it shows up. You're gonna need something called a fist of darkness, which will get you a dark fragment later on. It's super important, so I highly recommend you slay sea beasts whenever you see them. For number two, make sure to use every single fighting cell you have unlocked in the second C. For example, there's a hidden fighting cell over to the right side of the cafe. If we go ahead and go over here, there should be an NPC in this little column. He's actually hidden and tucked away. This NPC gives you dragon breath fighting style, which of course you're gonna need later for the third C as well. After you level that up to mastery 300 or so, go ahead and head over to the winter castle. There's also another fighting style you're gonna need from here. So here we are going inside the castle. This door is normally blocked off, but if you go ahead and kill the boss over there, he's not actually spawned in, but if you go ahead and kill the boss over there, come in this room, there is an NPC that gives you another fighting style known as Death Step. Of course, mastery that up to level 300 or at least 400. Then you want to take your cheeks over to the Number Skull Island and actually unlock this fighting style over here. This is known as Sharkman Karate. And once you've gotten all those fighting styles to mastery 300, you will unlock one of the strongest fighting styles you could get in all of Blocks Fruit. And that fighting style is known as Superhuman. And to unlock it in the second C, all you have to do is go over to the Snow Village area. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's actually right next to the spawn area in the green zone. You're gonna go ahead and go up here and go to the far right side. And once you get to the right side over here, there's gonna be a little drop down and some random grass in the snow, right? That doesn't make any sense. But where this grass is, is a secret cave. And in this secret cave, you can learn the superhuman fighting style from this guy. Do not make the mistake of only using one fighting style while grinding, boys. You're gonna regret it because you're gonna have to come back and do it all over eventually. But for the third thing, it takes us back to the cafe. So, now that you're in the second C, you actually have access to trading. Remember how I said you could roll fruits in this first C and keep them? If you were never able to roll a Buddha fruit or even buy one, that's fine because you could actually go ahead and trade some fruits up into a Buddha fruit and then you can eat that fruit and continue your grind. It might be hard to do at first, but you could eventually trade up to it. For the fourth thing on the list, make sure you actually don't play blocks fruits alone. There is a lot of people that can help you out whether you have friends or not. A lot of people are nice in the blocks fruits community up until you get to the third C. That's when it gets sweaty and people just want to kill you. But the second C isn't so bad. You can make friends and you could awaken fruits and you could farm fragments, which is what I highly recommend. If you go ahead and go to hot and cold, let's just teleport to lava. You can go over here and start awakening your fruits. Doesn't matter what level you are because you could get carried easily and no problem. All you have to do, no matter the level, is go up to this screen. Click on these buttons. You want to put in the code by color. So you want to do red, blue, green, blue. And if you notice, there's the pattern. And to your left, there should be a hidden door that actually opened up in this wall. And you're able to go in this room, climb up this ladder, and then you should be able to start up a raid. Doesn't matter what level you are, you are free to do it and farm fragments. But like I said, make some friends and let them carry you and help each other out. Last but not least for the second C, we gotta head back to the cafe because we need to talk to the manager. So this guy right here gives you clues on how to get the true triple katana. Make sure every couple hours or so, you go ahead and talk to him. Once you talk to him, he should tell you some interesting things. He says, what's up, warrior? Do you wish to hear where he was last seen? You go ahead and tell him yes. And he says, he left not too long ago. That just means I missed the sword dealer. I had a chance to buy one of the true triple katana swords to unlock the true triple katana. Huh? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, to craft the true triple katana sword right here, you actually have to buy three separate swords in game, which is either the Shisui, Wando, or Sa 
body sword. If you catch him on the right timing, it will say he'll be here in like 15 minutes. And that's when you want to constantly be checking. But there's a whole nother video on that. I won't go too much into detail. But let's just go ahead and head to the third C because there is top five mistakes to avoid over there as well. So here we are in the third C at the C castle. The first thing I have to say is once you get to the third C, make sure you're farming these elite hunter quests. You can do them once every 10 minutes and trust me, it's a completely worth it. There's things you can get by only doing that quest, such as free fragments, chalice, and getting things like the CDK. Oh yeah, but when you get the chalice, make sure to kill Indra first before you even start the CDK quest. Because once you kill Indra, you will finally be able to use these portals here and they can take you over to the mansion and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, you also have to do at least 30 of these quests to unlock the Yama sword to even get the CDK. So I can't stress how important it is to do this quest when you get to the third C. Next up, I highly recommend getting the Soul Guitar. It is one of the best guns you could get in the game. Yes, it's a guitar, but it does classify as a gun. It has some of the coolest abilities and the longest abilities. This thing goes super, super far and has some really good PvP potential. But for example now, let's just say you've done everything I just told you to do. Then it is time to get yourself God Human. There are three more fighting styles in the third C that you have to get. One of them being God Human. But to even unlock God Human, you have to go over to the Haunted Castle and get this secret fighting style known as Dragon Talon. You can get Dragon Talon by talking to our boy Uzoth over here and Electric Claw fighting style over here back at Floating Turtle. But once you've gotten every single fighting style to Mastery 400, you could finally unlock God Human. Our boy that tells you how to get God Human is actually over in this tree still at Floating Turtle and you talk to him and that's how you unlock it. Last but not least, make sure you get the Observation V2 that you could unlock in the third C by doing a whole other quest line that I dropped a video on. And we actually have Rectway's Discord kit in here that showed up randomly. But if we go ahead and activate our Observation V2, it is overpowered because you can see what your opponent is using. They're using Superhuman with the Spirit Fruit, the Yama Sword, and the Sidium Rifle. But that concludes my list of top five things to make sure you do or do not make mistakes of. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.